Let's get in the trenches of gold and silver. I want to start with silver. You were talking earlier, right. Scott, that your nauseous meter was rising here. You know, silver getting hit with another 33% margin hike that's going to go into effect on Monday. Okay. Isn't this, wait, isn't this the, what, the third or fourth it's, margin? It's the fourth in two weeks. Who, like, who so, are they protecting here? There's some conspiracy behind that on why they just keep raising So it them. went from like under $12,000 to over $21,000 okay. in, in, in two weeks, trying to shake out all that speculative money. So you want to short then into mm -hmm. Monday? No. At this okay. point, I don't think you could short. My nauseous meter was rising last week also. I started shorting silver around 46. And then when it was at 49, that's when I was ready to hit the bathroom and, you know, <laughs> not hold on. Not so, but it was close. And, and I was trying to, even I was saying, if you don't want to short it into this parabolic move, you cannot buy silver here. Every sign was indicating an exhaustion top. Mm -hmm. And now we've pulled off 20%. And yesterday I started buying a little silver, knowing that we're not quite there yet. So I come in this morning, it's down. The question is, what do you do? Right, and the level I think people have to watch is that 37.87 level, which is where this rally started from. It was the end of March closing settlement. So I think you have to watch that. If it breaks below, I mean, my worry is that all bets are off. Well, that's a good, that's a good statement because mm -hmm. what I think happens, which from experience, is sometimes you break that level. That's also the 50-day moving average. It breaks the level. People get stopped out because everyone's looking at it. And then it goes lower, and if it comes back through that level, that's what I'm going to add to the SLV that I bought yesterday. If you look at the chart here, this is what you're talking about. This is where the rally started from, okay? This is your 50-day moving average. We're already opening below it. So people are getting stopped out. So if they get stopped out, and we hold here, and we start reversing through yesterday's low of about, what is this, 3801, I'm going to add, and I don't think we get a blockbuster move, but we get mm -hmm. some kind of retracement back to 40, maybe 4150. So I'm trying to play a buy into this area as this is where the, you know, the area I was trying to short. But you just have to take care here because it rose so fast, so yeah. quick. So you know, I remember back in oil when oil hit 148, it didn't get a bounce until 108. And then it went from 108 to 120. And then we know that oil went to 30. So just don't get too big, too fast and make sure you have levels and stops if you can't handle it. I want to hit silver stocks really quickly. What was interesting yesterday is earlier in the morning they were down big, and then by the close they had recovered somewhat. They were still yes. down, but they had recovered. So I kind of was wondering if the support-ishness <laughs> in the silver stocks is indicating that silver is somewhere near a bottom. What do you think? It could be. And yesterday it was the first time I bought back SLW. Mm -hmm. I bought PAAS. I silver bought some of the miners because they did reverse. And the red dog reversal triggered, which you guys are all starting to learn. So if you take a look here at Silverweedon, okay, first of all, this was when it was trying to get momentum to break out and fell. This was your exit here. Okay, now you come all the way down into support, broke below this low, came back above it, closed green. This is why I'm long. And I'm long for a bounce, maybe back to 40. So I'm going to hold it, but I'm going to use 36 as my stop. If it doesn't hold 36, then there's a lot bigger problems than I don't know about here. And then what about gold holding it better than silver? Um, in fact, in the London close yesterday, it was higher. It closed higher, even though silver sold off. That's a really big deal. So what do you, how do you plan training well, gold? Well, gold right now is coming into the 21 day. So mm -hmm. silver is coming down to the 50. That means it's a lot weaker going down quicker. Gold, you know, we recall, I told you when we sold our gold at 153, I want to show you that reversal pattern. Okay, that was right here. This is why this reversal pattern works. It tried to break above the previous high, then found no momentum, came back below. That was my sell, and that's where I did. So today, I'm actually buying some back. I'm buying some. I already bought some pre-market before we came in here mm -hmm. around this 146, and I think that this level should hold at the first attempt. So if you did sell into this reversal pattern, you have the luxury of buying back on the dip into some support here with gold. But I don't know how much it's going to amount to. Right now, it might just be a trade. 